Hey guys, we are in the middle of packing up to go to New York. I've been guiding all the last couple months here on Chickamauga, but we're making that big transformation. We're, you know, we're gonna actually camp out on this trip, so uh, we're excited about that. Weather's gonna be fantastic. We, off that new North Face scent we got, uh, got some good air mattresses and stuff. First time we and hers really been camping camping together, so uh, we're really uh, really excited about that. And I uh, can't wait to get Champlain because I can't wait to get down and catch some fish and hope we do real good in this tournament. But what we got going on here now is packing up our snacks and stuff like that. We don't want to spend no more time we have to. Uh, going out buying stuff when we get down there, so we want to use all of our time practicing. So you can see we got all of our snacks here. You know, we got some canned chicken, peaches and stuff like that. I eat all the water and a bunch of snacks for the road. You know, what we got in here, Dinah? Quaker buttermilk ranch, these things are really good. The white cheddar popcorn, of course you can't go fishing without your oatmeal cream pies, can you guys? You know, these things are fantastic. Little, little sugar rush. We got a lot of stuff still, lunch meat and stuff like that uh, in the fridge. You know, we're gonna pack our Yeti coolers real good. We're gonna take a couple of them. Uh, I've been in the middle of changing the line over this week with some rods and stuff that I can. And, uh, you know, I got everything planned out for my last trip tomorrow. You know, it's got one guy who was missing nice. I'm just outside switching up tackle and everything right now. We got the back of the truck all heated up. Look, Donna's got her electric blanket here, you guys. This from Donna. Yeah, Donna, thank you for that. But anyways, uh, she's taking her electric blanket because she gets colder than I do at night. <clears throat> got all of her shoes and stuff there. Donna got her some good boots, some waterproof boots, brand new Columbian boots right there. Ain't they cool? You, you like those, don't you, Donna? You can't wait. Hopefully it don't rain too much down there, though. But come on outside, you guys. Let me show you what we got that's going on out here. All right, we got air mattress. We thought it was still good. We had a trash hit, not too new one. Donna's got her diet coke here. We got the truck going right here. Got us a case of water. Got the yet one of the Yetis in here. The other one's still sitting back there. But anyway, we got plenty of Mountain Dew. You guys can't go fishing without your Mountain Dew. Got that stuff on it. And look back here. Almost got this thing full. Well, we got some stuff we're gonna pack in there, some dishes and stuff like that. Now it's gonna cook at the campground for us some. You know, taking plenty of depth fluid. That way, I already got the truck full and I actually think I got three bottles of that. I may not need three, just two more probably been enough. Got my Red Bull, got my vitamin water, all my Lucky Craft crank or top water and jerk baits right there. I don't know how many I got in there, but I'd say 75 or so. Uh, all my drop shot stuff. Got my flogger. You know, hopefully them fish is gonna be on bed up there. Gonna be using that flogger down there. Doing a little sight fishing with those smallmouth. But anyhow, I got everything in here, you guys. You know, I've got a, a, a small air compressor, which you can't see up in there with air holes and stuff. I got all my tools in case we have any tr uh, trouble. Hopefully, gotta get us there and back safely. Uh, I'm gonna go out tomorrow, have a new set of tars put on my Phoenix. Uh, you know, I do a lot of traveling. And this is something you can't go without because that's gonna pump our air mattresses up. But anyway, so come on over to the boat over here. So what I'm doing here is I've got, I'm taking all my life jacket, all the stuff I keep in here for guiding in here. Like I said, I got one day left. I got one guy tomorrow, so I'm gonna take two of my, two of my good Phoenix life jackets for us tomorrow. I always keep all those life jackets in there. Got Dinah's life jacket in there. Uh, Dinah washed the boat today, you guys. I couldn't believe it. I love it. This ain't the first time she's done it, but thank you, baby, for doing that. You're welcome. But, you know, I'm taking all, like I said, all this stuff I use on Chickamauga. You know, we're totally transferring everything. You know, I'm going to be using a, a bunch of drop shot and stuff like that down there. Probably going to throw some uh, Lucky Craft uh, top water prop baits and uh, walking baits, but uh, definitely gonna be throwing some jerk baits and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, I think that's kind of give you a rundown of what we got going on. You know, we got that new troll motor on there. So uh, got that at Hennessy's. Hennessy's, thank you for hooking us up with that. Look what we did with our teenage locker bar here, you guys. Turn around here so I can see this down. Can you see that right there? Come on around this way. <clears throat> you guys, there's something so a couple of buddies of mine down here uh, helped me do. Uh, been wanting to do this. But anyway, Steve and Eldon came down and fished with me for three days. 
Steve took care of that for me right there. We drilled up that log, put the TNA locker. All you gotta do is whip, get my shooter, pull that up right there. What I love about this guy is, you know, we get up there, there's four or five foot wet graves. That thing is gonna be solid as a rock. It ain't coming off in there. You almost have to tow a boat out to get that uh, come off there. But a big shout out for Steve and Eldon helped me out with that. Uh, great guys, I fished with them for probably over 10 years. But anyways, uh, let me see the camera for a minute. Uh, Dinosaur, what do you think? You ready to do this trip too? I'm ready. You are? Are you looking forward to going down and catch you some smallmouth for the first time? Yeah, I'm well, excited. Yeah, I'm excited too. She's never caught any smallmouth yet. Yeah, she's caught several good largemouth and stuff. Of course, she's been down there at Okeechobee and caught her some good fish. But uh, there's going to be her first trip to New York. And uh, it's a beautiful place. And uh, great fishing down there. Uh, like I said, we're going to Lake, Lake Champagne. <clears throat> Like I said, we got everything all ready to go. Uh, well, we ain't got everything all ready to go. We're in the process of getting everything ready to go. I got, like I said, a six hour trip tomorrow. I'm gonna come home, finish packing this stuff up, get in bed early, I'm gonna drive as far as I can uh, the next day. And we'll have some road trips and stuff like that for you guys too. But uh, I appreciate it. And uh, Dinah, he, I guess we uh, finished packing, getting everything packed up and getting ready yeah, to go tomorrow. Prepare our clothes. Right. All right. Good deal. Hey, guys, that's all for right now. We'll catch up with you later on. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you on down the road, guys. Good luck on your fishing. Thanks.